Hi everyone, welcome back to another bomb recipe. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make the most juiciest baked chicken of your entire life. It's super easy, absolutely juicy. Can't wait to show you how to do it. Before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video for me if you enjoy it, and let's dive in. All right guys, I have a whole chicken here, nice and clean. We're going to remove the backbone of the chicken because we're going to butterfly it. It'll cook faster, it'll be more flavorful. So first thing first, grab you a sharp scissors and start cutting the backbone of it. And make sure you have a super sharp kitchen shears for this, just like so. Now if you want the backbone, you can make some broth. You can even bake it if you don't mind. I, I don't really need it, so I'll just discard it. And voila, you have the backbone nice and removed. Now once you've done remove the backbone, you need this chicken to be nice and flat so it can cook really, really nice. There's this bone here right in the middle. Use a very sharp knife, go like this. Now you are going to flip your chicken over and give it a nice press to crack that bone. There you go. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to pat dry your chicken for any moisture, any water. Flip it over and do the same thing, just like this. And if there's any fat, you can remove them. That'll save you some time so you don't have too much oil at the end of the cooking process. Once you're done patting it dry like this, you're going to grab your oil and drizzle a little bit of oil on there, okay? Next, you're going to flip it over, drizzle some more olive oil, just like this, rub it in, and now we are ready to season. Now I'm using a lot of seasoning, different seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, cumin, Creole seasoning, adobo seasoning, parsley, Italian seasoning, ground black. I have a lot in here, it'll be below. I like to season this side first. We're going to generously season our chicken, okay? Do not try to be light-handed with the seasoning. Uh-uh, it doesn't work like that. Just rub that in, just like this. Now we're going to flip that over. Make sure it's nice. Flip it over. There you go. For the thigh, I like to kind of, you know, give it a little, hook some holes, and then you can do it here too. Not too much so that seasoning can just penetrate through the skin. And then you are going to season that side, just like this. Okay, rub it in, rub it in, and keep going until you're completely done. Okay, the leg. I like to put that seasoning underneath, okay? It's gonna be nice and delicious, so stuff that seasoning under there. Let me tell you, this will be the most flavorful chicken you will ever tasted in your entire life. It's gonna be so good. Just like this. Now we're going to transfer the chicken to a baking pan just like this, it's looking good. Also, I forgot to mention, underneath the breast, you, you can add some seasoning under there as well, just like this. It's gonna be nice and juicy. Also, we have some butter going underneath the skin on top of the breast. You know that part sometimes get, not sometimes, that's the driest part of the chicken. So about one tablespoon should do it. Just push it in just like this, and there you go. And don't worry, you can add some more of that seasoning on top. 
just like this. The next part, you are going to add some veggies. This is pretty much optional. I'm using some bell peppers with onions. You can add potatoes, you know, carrots, celery. It's up to you, okay? Don't add it on top of the chicken, just on the side or not even underneath. I think that's gonna prevent the chicken from really getting hot to give you that crispiness on the outside. So I like to add it on the side. Now I want a nice gravy for this recipe. So I have one tablespoon of all purpose flour here with about half a cup of chicken broth. Now I'm going to pour that in just like this and give it a stir. So the gravy can be nice and thick, Just mix it with a whisk, and then you are going to pour that on the side of your chicken, not on top, on the side, okay? On the side of it. Perfect. Now we're going to bake the chicken on 350 degrees for about 40 to 50 minutes. All right, let's do it. Now we wait. All right, guys, the chicken is nicely done. It's looking amazing, y'all. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. <laughs> There you go. Hey guys, the chicken is done. As you can see, like who wouldn't like a mouth-watering chicken like this? It's juicy, it's delicious. Oh my God, let's just see how it tastes, y'all. Looking good. Oh, y'all see that juice? Okay, y'all, y'all see that juice? Y'all see that juice, right? Okay, I'm not the only one, y'all. You see this chicken? You see how juicy, get into it. You see how juicy this is? That's what I'm talking about, you guys. That's what I mean when I said juicy baked chicken. Look at that. Oof. All right, cheers, y'all. Another big winner. It's so flavorful, y'all. So flavorful, hands down, the best juicy baked chicken I've ever made. It's so tender, so juicy. Every part of this chicken is so flavorful. Mm. Just perfect. That's it. Perfectly cooked. I cannot wait for you guys to try this recipe out. Leave me a comment down below. How do you feel about this recipe? Also, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up for me because I know once you try this chicken, you're gonna wanna make it every single week, okay? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next recipe. Bye, guys.